Hello friends, this is Raphael with Chess House, and today I wanted to share with you some of the chess sets produced by Druki and talk about some of the history, too. It's a fascinating company that was started in 1914 by William Druki, and uh, it survived the Great Depression, World War II, the 50s, and in the 90s it was sold to the Karam Company and took the name Karam Druki was moved to Ludington, Michigan from its origins in Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids, Michigan, for those of you who are wondering. I paired this chess board with their set of plastic pieces. They started plastic injection molding in the 50s and I think came up with a winner of a design with this style that is not in production, has not been for many, many years. If you own one of these, it's a rarity. I would recommend keeping it. It's hard to get pieces. If you see one for sale, you might pick it up. But look at those, those knights and all those different pieces, how smooth the lines are. It's nicely weighted, and with this low-profile, wide base, it was very stable. Something that's hardly been matched to this day with a design like it. Before we focus on the chess boards and make some comparisons there, here's also a set of their 82040 rosewood and boxwood pieces. They're a rather economical set of pieces that also really just look good. I think Druki just did a fantastic job crafting a board from sustainably sourced walnut and maple. For a time it was aspen, but the contrasting dark and light squares really gave it a, a rich, lovely appearance. They've also got this distinctive edging border that is it's well defined. This kind of trademark design of Druki with the inset and bevel set them apart. These designs have been enjoyed by players for decades. Here is the 15 inch model which came in the, the bright orange box for a time. Cellophane wrap, instructions and so on. It's new, part of the collection. Not only did Druki produce tables, they made travel sets. This is their original 87710. My set shows quite a bit of use. Very, very strong magnets, and yeah, it's a great set because it can be closed with the position in place, and um, that position would stay intact till the next time you opened it. One of the very few chess sets still made by Druki to this day, as of now anyway, is the 87730, which is the same as the other, except that the case is not plastic. It's a very sturdy cardboard. In fact, I stood on it, and it will not crush. It's quite amazing, actually. Lightweight travel set. in on the boards after looking at this case which demonstrates how it was packaged with a 21 inch board and a couple bags with wood pieces three and three quarter inch pieces from the 21 inch there was a 23 inch grandmaster it was 26 inch 18 15 many different sizes I mentioned that this board is made from walnut and maple. The squares were quite precisely aligned and with a hardwood board like this the square you see on this side is the square you see on the other side. So we're talking quite a bit of labor that goes into hardwood selection of these woods. 
I represented these boards and the whole jerky line for many years, since 1994 through the mid-2000s. Sadly, they went away, these boards and all the similar products in the line, in the late 2000s, 2007, 8 time period. And there was still a lot of demand for these boards because they were so well made. So we embarked on a search for an alternative producer while trying to keep the design as close to the original as possible. U.S. made, well-made, well-crafted, precision, a good finish with similar qualities and appearance. After a few years, this product was launched and in 2012, August 2012, the first one was sold. It's called the JLP and you'll notice that it's got the same distinctive characteristics, inset, beveled edge, same dimensions, 21 inches with two inch squares. And it is even, as it was reverse engineered and produced, we even made some improvements to the design in terms of how the wood block construction is done. So you can see how there are a lot of seams here that can be seen hopefully seen in this uh, video. Most of those seams are now non-existent and not seen with this. Part of that has to do with the the craftsmen that have been chosen to work on this project because we wanted to make something remarkable. And uh, this board just isn't all that well known yet, but it is very, very popular among those that own them. I would also add that the finish is an improved style finish catalytic conversion varnish and uh, with just the right number of coats many tests were done to get that just perfect so the finish um, sharpness and the color is quite amazing and as well as the feel so if anyone is looking for a alternative to the now non-existent jerky board the JLP is a really a fitting replacement. And with this table frame that you see here, that JLP board can become a table. Uh, with minimal hardware, just connecting the parts, um, you can have a chess table. Same hardwood walnut design. A very elegant table that's of comfortable size to play chess. And I'll show you how this is put together and how you would use it. That 21 inch JLP tournament chess board is a standalone board. And here with this table frame, it can be turned into a complete chess table. Minimalist appearance, solid hardwood, sustainably sourced. Really a beautiful table. Not only that, but with these side pieces, You can extend the size for players who need extra space for a timer, or pieces, captured pieces, and so on. 